Welcome to Hive. This course is on resourcing your team's time by project. We will be taking you on a tour of how to add time estimates to Hive's resourcing app and review your project team's capacity and assignment. So let's go ahead and get started now. And to do this, I'm going to open up my apps page and I'm going to make sure that my resourcing app is toggled on. I can also pin this app to the left hand navigation here so I can access it um, quickly and easily ongoing. I'm going to go ahead and open the resourcing app now from here. Now Hive supports time and effort estimates at both the task and project level. Depending on how you wish to resource your project time, you can choose how you wish to do this. If it is at a task level, we can be granular and estimate how long each task or step in our project plan will take. At the project level, we will use resource assignments, which enables you to add estimates per person per project. Where you wish to combine both ways of entering estimates into your resourcing, you can display these by selecting them in the filter types at the top here. You can see resource assignments and you leave incomplete and complete actions. So I have them all switched on. Let's start with project level resource assignments. This is typically used as a broader bucket of time for blocking out people's availability and assignments where the exact tasks are not known or the level of granularity is too much to maintain for the team. Resource assignments do not appear in my actions view. They're not things to be completed. They also do not move with project plan updates. So in our resourcing view, we're going to create an assignment. I'm going to filter to my social team here. Just click apply. And into my view, I'm going to place an assignment for myself here for the first week of February. So if I drag my cursor out, I can pull an assignment here. And if I let go, it will open up the create assignment UI. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my project. So app redesign. I'm going to add assignment notes to say um, need to focus. Check my dates are correct. And I can now choose whether to add this option per hours per day, percent, total hours or days in itself. So I'm going to use hours per day and I'm going to set this at four hours per day. I can confirm the assignment and then click create. Just remember to confirm the assignment and that will be live against that user in the resourcing application. And you can see here that when I roll over, the details are displayed from the project to the dates and hours and notes. Now to resource at the task level, time tracking must be toggled on in the Hive apps so that you can enter estimates into each of the action cards. So if I return to my apps page now, you'll see time tracking is here and it is toggled on. Now to reiterate, task-based estimates are added per person per action card. Estimates are usually more granular and are always attached to specific actionable to-dos. Remember, actions are things that people can do and check off their list. These estimates will follow the project plan. So shifts in the project plan automatically updates your resourcing view. Estimates appear as guidance for individuals about their allocated time and when they look at their My Actions view also. You will need to go to each action card where you want to enter time and use the Estimates section to add that time estimate. And remember, when we add that time, we need a due date and an assignee so it will appear in resourcing. Let's take a look at this in action. I'm going to come to my App Redesign project again, and here are my specific tasks. And I'm going to open up my new comparison pages here. And firstly, I want to make sure this is assigned, so I will assign it to myself. And then I come to my time estimate box here. Now, where I see the estimate box, I've got 20 hours in here. I'm going to change that to 15. And what you'll notice is as I do so, the small calendar appears beside the estimate box. So for estimates that may vary per day across a task duration, you will see the small calendar and this allows me when I click it open to adjust these estimates 
across this day. And I'm going to do this for this particular task. So you can see this is 1.49 hours. I'm actually going to increase that for February here. I'm going to increase that to 4 hours and 30 minutes for this front Thursday. And I'm also going to do that here where I'm going to make this one 3 hours and 49 minutes. And you can do this. I can scroll forward to the next week to look at the rest of the duration for this particular task. And it will offer me the weekly and full range totals. I'm going to click Update Estimate here to save that into my card. You can see the totals reflected there. Now when I return to my resourcing app, we're going to see the entry for that particular task. And here it is ready for us to view here. I can click on this entry and open up the action card and perform any adjustments and edits that I wish to do. So let's bring this forward to just two days. And I can close it again. And there we have it, the date has updated for me. Once we're into the resource UI, let's take a, a look at what is displayed here for us. To our left, we find our Hive users, along with our placeholder section, should we have created those for our projects. Above, uh, above this, we can change our days to see the days, the weeks, the months, and jump back to today should we scroll forward in the calendar. Where we see entries against each user, this will display their indexing against the specific capacity in the app. Red indicates where it's over-indexed and blue will show indicate indexing within the specified range. To adjust the available capacity and threshold, along with displaying this as hours or percentages, you can do that here in the settings. So click on more, come to settings and come to general. You can see the working day is set to seven and a half. I'm going to adjust this to percentages just now and I can close this. And you'll see these will change the percentages for me. Beside the settings, you'll also find the export to CSV option. From time to time, you may find the entries in the resourcing titled the project private project. Now, this is a project where a resource assignment or action card has been made, but you are not a member of that particular project. The resourcing view is customizable to support your reporting needs. So let's visit our filter options here on the right hand side. You'll be able, easily be able to allocate each segment that you have by user and any items which you've used for people and roles. To access this, simply click the filter button in the top right. And from here, you can see I can choose my resource types, which I'll click all four. I can select specific projects if I wish to. I can also look at roles, specific teams here, any of the tags I've placed on my projects and also on labels for people at the bottom. So here's my labels that sit across my projects. Thank you for joining this course on resourcing your team's time by project. So far, we have covered how to add resource entries to the resourcing app review these entries and get insight into the available capacity of our project members. We've learned how to filter the resourcing view and also understood how we can adjust the daily estimates when we're using time tracking. Tune into the next video in our series to complete your learning on everyday essentials. Thank you.